in this video we're going to draw straight line graphs, linear graphs. Uh, we know they're straight line because there's not a squared or a cubed or anything here. It's, um, it's in the form of y equals mx plus c and that means it's a straight line graph. So what we've got to do is we've got to fill out the table of values which will allow us to plot the coordinates on the graph. It's actually um, easier to start at the right over here because we start with positive numbers and then we can usually see the pattern that forms. So what we've got to do is we've got to substitute the x values into the equation to find the y value. So it's 2 times whatever the x value is, take away 1. So the y value is 2 times this number, take away 1. So for the first one, we've got 2 times 3, take away 1. So 6 take away 1, which is 5. 2 times 2 is 4 take away 1, 3. 2 times 1 take away 1 is 1. 2 times nothing, 0, minus 1 is minus 1. Um, you can see the pattern emerging already. It's going up in twos. So we could carry on with the pattern going backwards. You'll be able to notice if you've made a mistake because the line won't be straight. So let's just keep going with this. So 2 times minus 1, minus 2, minus 1 is minus 3. 2 minus 2 is minus 4, minus another 1 is minus 5, and 2 minus 3 is minus 6, minus another 1, minus 7. And then we just, these turn into coordinates. So this is a set of coordinates here. So this one turns into 3, 5. And we can plot that in the graph. This one turns into 2, 3. We can plot that in the graph. This is 1, 1, 1, 1. 0 minus 1, so x first, then y, remember? And we can just plot these onto the graph. So 3, 5, 3, 5, 2, 3, 1, 1, 0 minus 1, uh, we've got minus 1, minus 3, minus 2, minus 5, and minus 3, minus 7. So we've got a straight line that's formed up there, which is what we wanted. And then we can just draw a straight line going through the points. And we know we've done it right because it's formed a straight line. If we had a point to the side, if we had a point up here, down here, we would know that we've made a mistake because it needs to form a nice straight line. Okay, so here's another example. We've got y is 0 0.5 times x take away 4. So it's y is half times whatever our number is take away 4. So we can just substitute our numbers in. So I'm going to start from the right again so it's easier to start with positive numbers. So half of 6 is 3. 3 take away 4 is minus 1. Half of 4 is 2 take away 4 minus 2 half of 2 is 1 take away 4 minus 3 half of nothing is nothing and we can see the pattern here it's going down uh, by 1 each time so we could carry on with the pattern or we could have carried on substituting numbers in so let's um, draw these coordinates on now so this becomes 6 minus 1. This becomes 4 minus 2. So let's plot these on the graph. So 6 minus 1, 4 minus 2, 2 minus 3, 0 minus 4, minus 2 minus 5, minus 4 minus 6, and minus 6 minus 7. And that's to draw another straight line. So through all the points, and it's formed another straight line, so we know we've done it right. Okay, see if you can do this one. So try and fill out the table, and then figure out what the coordinates are and plot them on the graph. So what we have to do to find the y values is 3 times our number plus 1. So 3 times the x plus 1. 
So three twos plus one is seven. Three one plus one is four. And then we should have got a pattern going up in threes each time, in threes each time. Then plotting the coordinates, so two seven, one four, zero one, minus one, minus two, and minus two, minus five. And we draw a straight line that goes through each of the points. And it should look something like that. 